Hey everyone, Professor Mike here with Russian Martial Arts. So we did a little bit of yoga ball stuff already, just basics, how to keep your balance on the ball and how can you disengage with the ball safely. So if you're in a limited space, you know, go watch that first video, that's gonna give you the basics. And honestly, you might just spend a little bit of time there. I love working with the ball. If I come into the school early and there's no one around, so one of the first things I used to do for the longest time is just pull the ball down and then just play with it and just get used to sitting around on the ball. It is a very uh, maybe challenging thing at the beginning to get used to, but I think the learning curve is so fast and then you start doing some fun things with it. So the biggest thing is make sure you're safe. So space is gonna be a bit of a, a priority for this. And again, a matted surface. We don't want any bookcases or, or things near us where we're gonna not run into a wall and injure ourselves. So keep that in mind. That could be a little bit of a, a challenge. Uh, you can see uh, even as I'm talking, the ball's moving around a little bit and you're gonna have to make adjustments. So, and ideally small adjustments. If you do a big adjustment, that's when you go flying, the ball goes flying and starts hitting things. So something to keep in mind. That being said, extremely useful tool. So we're gonna be a little bit more dynamic today. Uh, we're gonna be, make sure if you haven't done the first video and you're not comfortable with the yoga ball getting on and off of it, watch the first video, okay? Today is gonna give a, more, a little bit more of a challenge for you guys. So first thing we wanna do is leg straight, okay? Hold those legs up. Now I, don't, I know it doesn't seem like much, but it's gonna take away one of your connecting points. And I had mentioned in the last video, sometimes you'll hug onto the ball or you use your hands. And definitely, if you need to hug the ball and use your hands, hug the ball and use your hands. But as you get a little bit more comfortable, your body will relax and you can start doing other things. So if you can get those feet up, let's keep them up for about 10 seconds here, right? You can see you're moving around, that's fine. I didn't mention it in the last video, but if you're like looking around the room, it's gonna throw your balance off a little bit. So looking straight ahead or looking at an object that's not moving, maybe not me right now, that's gonna hit make your balance a little bit better, okay? So now that we've got our feet up, we're gonna make it a little bit of a challenge. We're gonna hug the ball with one foot, and we're gonna hug our foot with the other foot. So this is gonna be a little bit tricky. I was doing this one day, thinking like, okay, I gotta do class in a little bit. I had my socks on, let's take my sock off, grab my shin, and I was like, wow, this is a lot harder to take my sock off than I thought, because of how much I'm moving around. Hug the ball helps quite a bit. So hug the ball, grab your foot, hug your foot. You can even get a little bit of a stretch if you want. Right? Imagine you're taking your sock off. Let's go again off the other side. Hug the ball with your foot. Bring your other leg up. Good, find your balance. Don't rush it. There we go. I can feel my hamstring engaging on the ball, which is good. Now, remember, if at any time you're like, oh, I'm losing my balance, don't fight it. Unless <laughs> when you fight is what gets you in trouble. When you chase that balance a little bit too far and you can get tossed off the ball. So keep that in mind, right? Your balance, staying on the ball is important, but staying safe is most important. So if you need to put your feet on the floor, go for it, right? So now that we've done this a couple times here, hopefully you're getting a little bit more comfortable with it, okay? And we've done our little side to side. Next little challenge, I'm gonna turn sideways so you can see. This one, you're gonna try and plank but an upside down plank, cool. Find that balance again. Get that center and focus on something. I'm gonna lay back and then come back in. It wasn't as far back as I wanted to go. I'm gonna try and lay back and then come back in. I know my head is up. I'm trying to get my back as parallel to the floor as I can. And for sure it's a challenge. So you're gonna have, to, I have to focus on this. So you, you might need to hold on to the ball. Pass the ball underneath you a little bit. <laughs> but find that spot. Now, if you need to touch the floor, it's easy. Touch the floor, reset. I didn't really like holding onto the ball. I'm just gonna use my hands out for balance. Lay back as far as I can, and then bring it back in. Almost got it. We're gonna go one more time. Nice, that was a little bit better, but I caught my balance at the end. I'm gonna give it another shot here, facing this way for you guys. Went a little bit too far the other way, right? So again, you saw how I'm disengaging. So you have to be careful with that. Keep that in mind. Hopefully, you're enjoying uh, what's happening with the ball. Moving around is gonna be really important. And finding how you can use your hooks on the ball to 
to keep yourself connected is going to be really important when you start moving around. I can feel right now the ball is not centered underneath me. It's got a little wobble in it. So that's something that you remember in that first video we're going to watch out for. Okay? I can feel it's like tilted. It's like an oblong. Whoa. So when you're starting on the ball, having it centered is going to be pretty important, especially when you start throwing yourself off the ball. Okay? So give it a try. Our next video, we're going to be doing stuff where we go to our knees. Whoa. And that gets a lot more fun and a lot more unstable. So we're going to show you some tricks in the next video. Okay, stay tuned.